We're at Tubers here in Exeter, a video creation academy created by Nick and your partners here. And it sounds like it's going strength to strength. It's been fantastic. Yeah, we opened beginning of February. We're only in week four now. Some of our courses are, are completely fully booked for the younger kids. Uh, yeah, we're blown away by the success so far. So a video creating academy, that's not something I've heard of before. Is this the first of its kind? And why are you in Exeter? It is a first of its kind, yeah. We've been doing commercial video and social media marketing for quite a few years and wanted to give the kids access to studios, cameras, training, safeguarding. Uh, Exeter, it's not far from where we live, which is myself, I live in Torquay. My business partner, Jim Rowe, lives in Yeovil. We looked around for premises and the right location, the right feel and Exeter just, just hit the, the nail on the head, really. It felt right. So, um, a young person coming to Tubers, what, what's the experience? What can parents expect their kids to get from it? How does it work? So we have two age groups, We have, which was the younger ones were added on later, which was the seven to 10 year olds. But the main course was set out for 11 to 18 year olds. And we have a 12 step process. We have their, um, which is called new tubers. So they go through trialing different types of video. So from news reports to vlogging, to product reviews and unboxing, working solo, working in teams. They try being the talent on front of camera and some of them do production crews, some of them do research. So we give them right a, a real good overall feel of what it's like to be part of a production crew. And then once they finish that course, they progress to what we call crew tubers, which is a bit more managing on, on their own a little bit. So they get access to the studios, the cameras and the, the help that they need, but they manage their own content. They learn to edit it up and, uh, and try and emulate some of their favorite YouTubers. So if a parent's watching this and feels like they want to get their kids involved, um, obviously there's a cost. How, mu how much is it and how do you sort of manage that cost? So the cost for 11 to 18 year olds is £79 per month and that runs all year long right through the school holidays. They get two hours uh, dedicated training well, every week after school and then they get access to the place on Saturday which is access to all the studios and the big room and the VR and the gaming uh, to come and do their own thing on a Saturday. So it's a great creative space to come and meet their friends, obviously the other members that they've met that want to be YouTubers and they grab a studio and they do their own thing in there. So, Gets described as a kind of a, a new biker grove on a Saturday, which <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is quite funny. Who, who's that? Who's deck? Which one am I? I don't know. <laughs> but it's interesting to hear you talk about that because you know my kids watch a lot of YouTube. You know, I make YouTube, but they mainly consume it. I think parents see that video content online is something that they just consume. But you're talking about kids getting creative and making their own content. I guess that's a big draw for parents. Yeah, it's a real key thing that we focus on as well is they don't just do that. They don't just consume content. Even when they're gaming, I mean, some of them, don't get me wrong, they will be happy to sit in the gaming room and play games, but we make sure that they're creating content about that gaming. They get the DSLR out, they do a full introduction, they use the Elgato and game capture what they're playing, and they make a piece of content. So it's a full creative process that they go through, and that's really key to in, in differentiating the, the two things, consuming content and creating content. And in terms of YouTube and other video services rise to success, how do you describe the importance and the place of a video in the lives of young people to parents? It's going to be huge and it's quite hard to describe sometimes because we know full well that 50% of all jobs are going to be digital in the next 20 years. A huge proportion of those are going to be media related jobs and some of it is going to be uh, career based skills, whether that be kind of you know production um, production management data management uh, being the talent on camera um, creating social media content and these are real you know career skills that we're teaching the kids there's a, the, the one percent that might end up being you know famous youtubers that's great if they go on to that that's fantastic it will help them we encourage them to do that if they want to do that but the overwhelming majority of them were given real career skills too so hopefully we start to see media training in you know national curriculum that would be great, just like we're starting to see coding coming through. Um, I know some schools have access to a kind of a media suite, as it were, but not to this sort of level where they get the full service training and access to all different types of studios. And so this is new to the UK and you're starting here in Exeter. Have you got plans to roll this out to other, other cities? Is it a franchise sort of thing or is it just a one-off here in Exeter? Um, we're trying to open as many of these as we can. Hopefully we'll open three more this year. We're looking at Plymouth, we're looking at Bristol and seeing how that can also the same model fits into smaller towns as well kind of looking at Torquay and Paynton, um, Taunton uh, so start southwest because this is where we're based and then we'd like to open as many as we can in the UK as fast as possible really. Well it's great and um, we'll, we'll check back with you and track your progress but you know, what we're seeing so far the equipment in the studio and the buzz about the place it's really exciting and it's great you're in Exeter so nice to meet you. Brilliant thank you for your time cheers.